It seems to me that pretty much every day there's someone out there who wants to insult you, to offend you, either directly, personally, or by insisting that you conform to their ideas, their norms. Have you noticed that too? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. Many, not all, but many of those to the left and to the right of the political spectrum have together turned intolerance of one another and insulting one another into something of an art form, one that's tearing society apart. But it's not just in politics. It's pretty much in every sphere of life, in the workplace, in the media, in, well, pretty much everything. And if you're anything like me, it's upsetting, right? Who wants to be insulted? Who wants to have radical opposing views shoved down their throat? It's downright offensive. So here's a bit of godly wisdom to get you through all that. Fools are easily upset, but wise people avoid insulting others. The temptation in that moment, in that space where we're upset, is to hurl back an insult, a retort, a barb, to recover some dignity, or at the very least, to hold your ground. Yet according to God, it's a foolish thing to be easily upset. To the contrary, wise people avoid insulting others in return. Or as someone else once said, we can actually refuse to be offended. When people ignore you or they're mean to you or rude to you, they're actually revealing themselves. They're telling you what's in them, not what's in you. How you treat those who mistreat you reveals your level of emotional and spiritual maturity. Fools are easily upset, but wise people avoid insulting others. That's God's Word, fresh for you today. <music>